Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we are going to talk about small drum sets. Now, I know most of you think bigger is better, and you know me, I play a lot of big drum sets with lots of drums and big drums, 24 inch kicks and 18 inch floor toms. I love big drums, but uh, for gigs, I like small drums, and I like small portable drum sets because my back likes small portable drum sets, and my vehicles like small portable drum sets. And so today I wanted to show you guys two of my favorite small drum sets and show you the sounds that you can get from those small sizes because uh, I think if you haven't had the chance to try out a small drum set, you might not realize just how great of a sound and how big of a sound you can get out of small drums. So let's take a look at my two favorite small drum sets, small gig kits. Let's save our backs and play some smaller drums. Let's check it out. All right, so this Midtown kit comes in some really interesting sizes. The kick drum is only a 16 by 14, which means that this is smaller than most of my floor toms. It has a little lift on the bottom that elevates it to your normal kick drum playing position, which allows you to get a normal feel out of the drum. And it is crazy how much low end and how much punch you get out of such a small kick drum. Then you have a 10 by seven rack tom, which is a standard size, but typically if you're only gonna run, run one rack tom, you're gonna have like a 12 by eight, but this is a 10 by seven. And then over here, instead of a 14 by 14, we have a 13 by 12. So an inch smaller in diameter, two inches less depth, and yet still you get a big full sound out of that floor tom. And then we've got a 13 by five and a half inch snare drum. So this kit, is so lightweight it's six ply poplar shells so it's not like a high-end wood it's nothing that like you know it's not what people are necessarily saying like oh man i really want a poplar drum set and yet pearl puts so much precision so much like research and design into creating shells that are sturdy that are lightweight that are easy to take on the road with you on on a small gig on a big gig these drums sound really good at the end of the day it doesn't matter what the type of material in the shell is if it sounds good and you put good heads on here i've got evans uv2s evans hd dry and then a uv e mat on the kick and this thing sounds much more expensive than it is and much bigger than it is. I love this kit. Let's hear some more of it. All right, so the other kit that I would like to show you guys is the Decade Maple Bop Kit. And this is a really, really awesome drum set for the price because it is the six ply maple Decade Maple shells that Pearl engineered to create something that's affordable but still has that really awesome maple sound. And so the hardware on it is not the high end hardware of like a Masters Maple Complete, but it is a nice maple shell for a really awesome price. And the hardware itself is very sturdy. It's gonna be great for gigs and it's pretty lightweight too. So it's easy to carry around with you. Now, the thing that I noticed about this drum set, of course, the sizes are a little bit bigger than the Midtown. So you've got an 18 by 14 kick, two inches bigger there. You've got a 12 by eight rack tom, two inches bigger there and an extra inch of depth and then a 14 by 14 floor tom. And besides the 14 by 14 floor tom, you also have a 14 by five and a half inch snare drum. So you've got the standard full size snare drum uh, in that Decade Maple Bob Kit configuration. 